There are signs that enthusiasm for Kamala Harris is building in the states that will decide the election. New polling from the Cook Political Report shows the vice president leading or tied with Donald Trump in six of seven battleground states. Still within the margin of error here, but this reflects a significant shift. And the New York Times reports that new voter registration data in two swing states adds to the evidence that Harris's candidacy has energized potential Democratic voters. This comes as the campaign's trying to capitalize on this enthusiasm with the announcement of what the DNC is calling a Dempalooza, public events in Chicago during convention week next week that offer a chance for Democrats to hear from party leaders without having to be in the convention hall. And while they're at it, they can get friendship bracelets or a Kamala Harris manicure. Back with us to discuss Tim Miller and Robbie Mook. So, Tim, what's your takeaway from this new battleground polling? How significant is it? I'm kind of interested in the manicure, but uh, the battleground. <laughs> I wanted polling, to make a comment uh, on that. I held. I held back. Yeah, um, the battleground poll obviously looks good for her, and it's a couple weeks out of date, and, and the numbers are moving her her direction. I did released it today, but uh, they took the poll a couple weeks ago, and so look, I think that there's gonna be more good polls coming up for her. Um, I don't think this is surprising. Like what we've seen both on, in the polling side and on the enthusiasm side is exactly what every poll of ever, that, that has been taken all year told us, which was that voters weren't excited about their choices. Uh, when Joe Biden stepped aside, Kamala Harris stepped in and brought, she brought a lot of enthusiasm with her. She brought a lot of excitement with her. Uh, I think in addition to the excitement from the base, which we've seen at these events, these huge rallies that are now outdrawing Trump. Um, the other thing in that quick poll you, you just showed that I thought was interesting was that group that we talked about all year, the double haters, mm -hmm. the voters that didn't like Trump or Biden. Well, right now they're going for Kamala Harris 54 to 24. So she's just, oh, she's already got about half of these voters, you know, that were the key swing voters, you know, before the debate last month. So I, that, I think that's, you know, shouldn't be a surprise that the numbers are showing what, what they are. Robbie, the New York Times reports that after President Biden got out of the race, weekly Democratic registrations outnumbered Republican registrations in North Carolina and in Pennsylvania. It was the largest Democratic margin in new registrations since late 2023. What does that tell you? Yeah, well, there, I mean, it, it, on the ground, you could just feel it. I, I know here in my own community, I was at my uh, the, the local Democrats meeting a week ago, and it was the biggest turnout I'd ever seen. The parking lot was full. I couldn't find a place to park. Um, and I think just, you know, when you're walking around talking to people right now, there's an excitement that just wasn't there. So and, and I think it will continue. You know, I think it'll continue this week. I think it'll continue through the convention. And then this race will get a little bit harder. You know, uh, Harris has said she's going to start to do interviews. The debate will come up. So I think what's important for the campaign right now is to galvanize, calcify, harden all this support, mobilize people to volunteer, but anticipate that it will get tighter. And, you know, the, these polls are, are, you know, as Tim was saying, they're expected, they're very welcome news, but what it all adds up to at the end of the day is a race that looks very similar to 2020. And mm. 2020 felt really good if, if you look at the electoral college numbers, but the upper Midwest and Arizona and Georgia, these were very close contests and the, the data you're showing now, it's a close contest right. out there. So. I don't I think we need to continue to to you know keep our nose to the grindstone. We're not running away from this. We're just getting it back to a dead heat. Okay, discussion to be continued. We'll see if there's any more movement as we move forward in this election cycle. Tim Miller, Robbie Mook, thank you both for sticking with us through the hour.